Paw Patrol, Mighty Pups, Mighty Pup Power. It was a big day at Adventure Bay Beach because Mayor Humdinger was preparing to blast off in his rocket ship. Ladies and gentlemen, he announced, I am about to become the very first mayor on the moon. He whispered to his nephew Harold, who was in charge of the launch, Quick, I want to lift off before Paw Patrol gets here and stops my foolproof plan. Just then, Harold accidentally launched the rocket. Excuse me, to be the first mayor on the moon, shouldn't I be in that rocket? says May Humdinger, but the rocket wasn't going to the moon. It was headed right for a meteor. The rocket bumped into the meteor and sent it straight down to Earth. Meanwhile, Everest and Jake were stargazing. They saw the meteor coming towards Adventure Bay. Better call Ryder, said Jake. Ryder, come in, said Everest. There's a meteor headed this way. Uh-oh, we have to get everyone to safety, said Ryder. Ryder split the pups into two groups. He led one group and Chase led the other. Chase hoped. He would be a good leader. Attention, Adventure Bay, said Chase through his bowhorn. A meteor is headed towards us. The Paw Patrol cleared the streets just before the meteor crashed. While investigating the meteorite, the Paw Patrol pups were zapped with a strange energy. Suddenly they had superpowers. Chase was super fast, Rubble was super strong. Sky could fly without wings, Everest could breathe ice, and Marshall could create amazing heat. Zuma's paws could shoot jets of water and Rocky could make glowing super tools. Wow, I'm going to call you the Mighty Pups, said Ryder. But it wasn't just the pups who had powers. Harold could make anything he wanted just by moving his hands. He made himself some rocket shoes and zoomed to Mayor Humdinger's lair. That meteorite can make me Super Mayor, Mayor Humdinger snickered. Harold used his mighty powers to build a super vehicle. They used it to take the meteorite from City Hall. Mayor Goodway quickly called the Paw Patrol. The Mighty Pups got super pup outfits and they caught up with Mayor Humding and Harold. The Mayor panicked and escaped from the vehicle through a trap door, but Harold continued on his mischievous mission. Using his new meteorite powers, he captured Ryder in his Ryder Hider and then created a giant robot to stop the Mighty Pups. Chase had to take the lead, Zuma make a mini lake in front of him, and Everest some ice would be nice. The robot slid on the ice, then totally wiped out. But then the robot got back up. A little fall won't stop my pup rounder upper, said Harold. Super rocket thrusters coming up. The robot became rocket powered. Using its rockets, the robot quickly caught all the mighty pups except Chase. Why would What would Ryder do? Chase asked himself. Ryder says a good leader never gives up, so neither will I. Mighty Pups, I have a plan, said Chase. Mighty Marshall, it's time to go hot dog on these nets. Super idea, team leader Chase, said Marshall, as his paws began to glow red hot. He melted the nets, freeing the pups. Harold piloted his robot to go after team leader Chase. I've got you this time, said Harold, but his helmet fell down over his eyes. Oops. The robot lurched to the lookout and wrapped its arms and legs around it. His rockets fired and the lookout took off, with Ryder trapped inside. We've got to catch that rocket ship or we may never see Ryder again, yelled Chase. He quickly formed a plan. Mighty Rocky, create an energy tool belt that all the pups can fit inside, and Mighty Sky, fly them out to the lookout. Inside the lookout, Ryder knew the mighty pups had to get to the meteorite to stop the runaway robot, and he knew just how to help them. The pups saw something shining on the robot's backpack. It's the Paw Patrol signal, said Mighty Sky. Chase knew what it meant. It's Ryder, he exclaimed. He's showing us that the meteorite is in the robot's backpack. Let's get that meteorite, said Chase. Rubble, can you reach it? It might be a stretch, Rubble said, but I'll give it a double rubble effort. The powerful pup swung up to the backpack and opened it up with his claw arm. Then Mighty Rocky used his super back to suck up the meteorite. Got it, said Mighty Rocky. Without the meteorite, the robot suddenly lost power and the lookout began to fall. Chase needed a powerful whirlwind to slow it down. On it, said Mighty Sky as she created super strong spinning wind. The wind slowed the lookout, but it was still falling. Chase used his super speed 
To make the whirlwind even stronger, he ran faster and faster until the lookout finally slowed and landed, right where it belonged. The meteorite stopped glowing, the robot had drained its energy and the mighty pups lost their mighty powers, but they had saved the lookout and Ryder. You all did a great job, pups, said Ryder, especially you, team leader Chase. Thank you all for saving Adventure Bay, said Mayor Goodway. Whenever there's mighty trouble, said Ryder, just yelp for help. The end.